everyone, it's Donna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my sister, Sophia, and today we are going to be doing the sister tag. We have a bunch of awesome questions here on my phone and we are going to be answering them today. So let's get started. The first question is, who is the oldest slash youngest sister? I'm younger. I'm older. We are three years and eight months apart. So almost four years. She's 12 right now and I'm 16. So next question is, who is funnier? Donna, I think. Um, yeah. She has a way of making people laugh when she's not trying though. Like me and my mom will be dying with laughter and she wouldn't know what she said. <laughs> like if you know what I mean. But okay, the next question is who's more cautious? Sophie is definitely more cautious. If there were two paths, one quick and dangerous and one long and easy, I would take the long easy path and Donna would take the quick dangerous path. Especially when we were in Colorado with all the red, uh, red rocks that were super high up. Yeah. It was just so was fun so to scary. climb them. And um, at the fair, like all those rides that go upside down and stuff, and Donna would go up them and I would be like, oh my gosh, she's gonna die. Being up high doesn't really scare me. I would love I'm to go bungee jumping. I'm scared of heights too. Heights are just awesome. Yeah. All right, the next question is, who is more adventurous? We are both really adventurous. We love camping and hiking. Yeah. In different ways, like she would go up into the mountains and climb a mountain while I would just like take a nice hike into, into the woods and take pictures of animals, like wild animals, things like that, and it's really fun. So we're adventurous in different ways. She's more of a risk taker, adventurer, while I'm more of a woodsy adventurer, so. Next question is, what do you like and hate about your sister? Well, Sophia is really helpful, and Thank you. but the thing that I don't like is that she can be like super annoying because she always wants things to be like perfect, yeah. and she always thinks that I'm gonna lose something yeah. because she's super cautious <laughs> and doesn't want anyone to lose things, and she always counts all of her things. And Donna is really intense, and that's a good and bad thing. She really gets people motivated to accomplish their goals, but at the same time, she will make you broke because she will get what she wants, like, right yeah, now. Yeah, sometimes it gets annoying. Yeah. All right, the next question is, what do you and your sister have in common? Well, we like animals. Yeah, we like uh, the outdoors. and We, we love we, traveling. Yeah, we like traveling. We love animals. We're obsessed with bunnies and dogs and cats, and we just have a lot in common. We also like doing arts and crafts together, so yeah, that kind of stuff. Okay, we understand, Donna. You said that yesterday. Okay. What's your funniest memory? We have a lot of funny memories, but one Especially in particular, we you know, like 2011, 2012, Donna would be like uh, making makeup tours and she would be like making a cookie with face paint and she's like, make your cookie unique and make it the way you want it. You don't need to be like everyone else. <laughs> it was so funny. We're probably going to do like a video reacting, yeah, to, reacting to old home videos in the future. That would be fun because we were funny babies. <laughs> oh my gosh. We were so cute too. Alright, what do you and your sister do for fun? I think you already answered this question. Well, like, we like hiking, animals, Yeah, we YouTube like videos. doing horse riding in the summer together, doing YouTube videos. We're always doing a YouTube video together, even if you only see Donna. I'm behind the camera with the tripod, just making sure everything's good. And just kind of that kind of stuff. So, Alright, the next question is, describe your sister in one word. Um, artsy or cautious. And Donna is kind of just intense and energetic, I think. Those are the words we would choose. Alright, the next question, uh, question is, have you ever liked one of her friends? So, all of Donna's friends were girls. And all of my friends, because I was tomboy, were boys, so... Most I'm not of, gay, so... Since we're like homeschoolers, um, all of our friends were kind of like weird homeschoolers that wear pajamas all day. Yeah. So, so no. No. <laughs> Alright, the next question is, what's your nickname? nickname? To a other, what do people call you? Well, my nickname is Donna. My real name is Danielle. But it's I not like just... It once. It's not like just people call her... Danielle, who and are then our family calls Don me Donna. Everyone calls everyone me Donna. calls her Donna, and like if she was out and about, like, and someone asked her her name, she would say Donna, not Danielle. It's like everyone calls her Danielle, and my nickname for her would be Don, like D A W N, Dio, Dio. And my nickname, I don't have a nickname. I think yeah. I was called Sophie when I was really little, just by friends, never my family. So it just kind of went away. Okay, the next one, who, who keeps a cleaner room? 
Mm. I feel like we are both equally, like, we aren't messy and we aren't clean. Like, we have the surge of cleanly power, like, oh, I'm gonna clean all of this. Usually when we're bored. Especially when we're bored. Yeah. Just kind of clean everything. So we're not messy and we're not clean. kind of fun. Yeah, we're equal. Alright. Next question is, what does your sister think about the most? I'd say her dog. Because she's obsessed with her dog, you guys. I'm, I'm serious. And Sophia just thinks about not losing things. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. The next question is, what does your um, who reads more right now, Donna? I love every Rick Riordan book. I've read every single one. I read The Trials of Apollo. I read all the Percy Jackson books in both Percy Jackson series. I read all the Magnus Chase books, and I also read the uh, um, ones about Egyptian. Gosh, she is an intense reader right that. now. But when I was her age, she didn't know how to read. Like, she only started reading when she was like nine. Nine or eight. Yeah, and. Then. and when I was like her age, 11, 12, I like literally read all the Warrior Cat books and there were a lot at that time available. I read all of them in like a year or half a year or something. It so. comes with my intensity that if I want something then I get it done. Yeah, so we are readers at different times. Right now I like reading articles and like things about animals in like Yellowstone journals and stuff. The Bruce yeah. <laughs> Alright, the next question is what is uh, something you like to do together. So we like to go hiking. We love animals. Our animals go to doing arts and crafts and going to Petco and buying our cat clothes. Yeah, lots of things. All right. The next question is: Who is the most talented? Who is the most talented? We're talented in different things. Like Donna is she's good at flexible. gymnastics and she's flexible. And, and I'm pretty good at braiding. Yeah, she's really good at hairstyles. While I'm more of the artsy, really good at drawing animals. Yeah, and I also do the violin. I played a violin. We both started violin, but Donna quickly gave up because she wasn't as good as me. So. I just don't have time for shopping. What's your favorite makeup slash beauty product brand? We don't wear makeup right now. Um, we only we haven't curl found our any um, natural beauty. Yeah, products. we don't like the fact that everyone do does. Animal cruelty and I don't really that. feel like caking my face on a bunch of stuff that will just make me have a bunch of pimples all over my face. Yeah. I don't really see Maybe that. Maybe I get into it a little bit later on in my life, but right now it's just too much animal But cruelty. we do like the Burt's Bees lipstick. Yeah, we are wearing the Burt's Bees lipstick and we also curl our eyelashes. That's definitely cruelty free, so that's something we support. What is your sister really bad at? Um, Donna is bad at right then i think she's not i mean i'm not horrible but i'm definitely not as good as so yeah. yeah i like doing all these twisty letters yeah. like not necessarily yes. cursive it's like sophia cursive like yeah, different she, ways sophia has, has really really good handwriting yeah and what is sophia bad at i don't know gymnastics yeah um, probably being just flexible flexible <laughs> flexible and um, doing splits, I'm not good at the splits, um, just different Most things. people aren't. <laughs> yeah. Alright. What's the best thing about one another? Well, Sophia is really helpful and Thank nice you. and just calm. And Donna is really intense, she really gets her goals done, but she also helps people accomplish their goals. I'm like- Motivation! Yeah, I'm like, different things all at once, while Donna's like, one thing. Get, go, get it going and get it done. All right, the next question is, who takes longer to get ready? Um, we both both take... in different ways. I take a longer, more relaxing shower while Donna gets out of the shower really quickly and starts doing her hair. My, My hair takes a long do. time to do because I do really intricate braids. Yeah. All right. Next question is, heels or flats? I, right now, do not wear heels because I'm only 12, but I am obsessed with high heels. Whenever we go into Walmart or Target or some other shoe store or something, she is always inside of the heel section trying on heels. I'm not kidding. And it's not very, like, popular for, like, 12-year-olds to be running around in high heels, but they're just so fun. 
feel like I'm walking down we're a both also, and I'm a model. We're both really tall too. I'm 5'8 uh, and a half, 5'9, and she is probably going to be the same height because her parents are both really tall. So, I don't know. She's really just going to be that six foot tall. Yeah, and since I do ballet, um, my feet are always like pointed and my arch is really high. So, it doesn't hurt my feet to wear high heels like most people. Yeah. Her feet are also pretty big, so that's probably why. If your yeah. feet are small, they get compressed inside of the shoe and stuff. Last oh. thing you talked about, making this video. Making this video, doing the sister tag, I think. Yeah, that's about it. We were also having breakfast earlier. It's pretty early, so. Alright, next question is, are you close? We are pretty We're close. touching each other right now, so I would but, say yes. Uh, we homeschooled, so we were always like together. So we're pretty close in that way too. So books, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, one thing you can do that your sister can't? The Gymnastics. splits. <laughs> the splits, flexiness, and probably for me. Um, I cannot draw any animals. She also can't really play the violin. She tried before many times. She sometimes takes my violin and just starts playing the strings, and it sounds horrible, so, I mean. Alright, the next question is, um, what's a weird habit of your sister? Um, I used to bite my nails, and it drove my mom and my sister crazy until I got she braces. she doesn't do it anymore. Yeah, because I got braces. I don't really have any habits other than... Um, I am obsessed with my dog and I spend yeah. all my money on her. She her. uses all her money on clothes for her dog. It's crazy. She gets a dollar, she spends it on her dog. And it's a habit, you guys. I'm telling you. Okay. It really drives us crazy. Describe the last... Oh, what's your biggest fight or argument? We, we do remember. not have any fight. We don't really have any fights. If we do, then we kind of forget and... Like, yeah, we don't. They don't last. We really know what... There's one right now. There's no Complete one. this. Statement, my sister is artsy. Artsy, cautious for me, and Donna is just like intense and energetic, I'd say. Okay, so All right. that's the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this yeah, video. It was really fun to do. We hope and you enjoyed. Like. like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in Donna's next video. Bye!